Hmm. Pretty sure no one ever asks for this one. But once in a while, you just gotta trust me. Now that Thor kind of sucks again. Revisit the first time Marvel brought their golden boy to life. So let's crack open the Honest Trailer Vault for Hulk vs. Thor. Okay, officially it's The Incredible Hulk Returns, but we both know no one's clicking on that. In a world dominated by movies like Superman, Superman 2, Superman 3, and Supergirl, Marvel has surrendered film to DC and retreated to the small screen, selling Spider-Man off to the Japanese. Spider-Man! and using their only past success to try and launch a new hero, Thor. Look, Marvel sucks at adapting their comics, but do you realize what this means? They're setting up a made-for-TV Avengers movie. So rad. I hope they get Kevin Klein for Loki, or George Carlin, maybe Cruz. Six years after he wandered down the road for the last time, Bill Bixby returns. He's still a man on the run, hiding the true identity of David Banner under the alias David Banyan. My organization kidnapped David Banyan also within the week. Was David Danner taken? He's a Frankenstein trying to perfect his Hulkstorectomy gun. So that only leaves time for him to do two things. Science. I've turned the transponder into a kind of giant Chinese puzzle. And his co-worker. You smell delicious. Mmm. Mmm. It tastes pretty good too. But when Banner gets angry, look out. No fabric is safe from the Hulk. Lou Ferrigno returns with an even scarier bowl cut. And when this monster bodybuilder finally comes out to play, he's showing off his signature move, grunt flexing. Lots of grunt flexing. Directed this, Lou Ferrigno's dad. What symmetry you got, Lou? You know, you look like something Michelangelo cut out. Since the 70s, fans have wondered if a live action Thor movie could work. Now, Eric Kramer has the answer no. Meet the Viking god with a hammer you know from the comics. But instead of Norse magic, he's got nose magic. Get from Odin this nose of mine. Always find my man. Super cab hailing powers. Hey, cab! And an infectious laugh, in that I think he has some kind of disease where he can't stop laughing. <laughs> but in this universe, even the mighty Thor bows before Donald Blake. My master waits in his metal chariot. Instead of being Thor's alter ego like the comics, Donald is this dweeb who everyone hates. Oh, I like you, Blake. But only when you're asleep. So when are you leaving? And who keeps Thor stuffed inside his hammer like a dog being crate trained. Do I have your permission to leave? Until one unforgettable honky tonkin' hootie tootin' night on the town makes them best buddies. <laughs> should really be more songs about big guys being big. It really helps drive home how big the guys are. Do you remember McGee from the Hulk show? The reporter hot on Banner's trail? No? Well, fine. He was a relic of the 70s anyways. And in case you weren't aware, this is the 80s. This is the 80s. I don't know what a good cause is anymore. That means it's time for high-powered executives, contracts, deals, negotiations, squash, publicity stunts, corporate espionage, compact disc players, and because the PC-90s are right around the corner... Who would you prefer to be on our side? Thor or a bunch of trigger-happy deputies? Even Marvel is starting to realize it's time to add some diversity to their casts. You stupid Cajun idiot! Hey, you're just as Cajun as me, man. But you're not here for characters. You're here for action. And this movie will get to that when it's good and ready. with show-stopping set pieces like Thor and Hulk slowly wrestling around a sparkle factory. <laughs> Thor and Banner taking down a helicopter that's clearly just not flying half the time. 
and Marvel's brand new cutting edge special effect. Slow motion. truly amazing. It's too bad everything else moves just as slow. So enjoy the first of three made-for-TV Hulk films that could be the launch of an interconnected Marvel Universe. And I, for one, am on board, because who knows what DC is doing with that new Batman movie. Can you believe they gave it to the guy who made Pee-wee's Big Adventure? And it stars Mr. Mom? 1-800-NOT-MY-BATMAN. Starring, where's the beef? Oh, there it is. I Dream of Weenie. Avenge of this nerd. A woman scientist? J. Jonah Lameson. And Thor's drinking problem. I'm thirsty. Is there nothing to drink in this alchemist's den? I want to drink mead. Oh, what you call beer will do. I need to drink. Beating a dead Norse. You know, Banner's girlfriend Maggie has a superpower in this too. Ignoring red flags. <laughs> I don't think, neither do I speculate, assume, or hypothesize. Eat my hammer. I am more disappointed than a polar bear at a SEAL concert. Would you like fries with that? And his name is John Cena! Da-da-da-da!